So now we tried uh, to fly it without any controls. We have used the phone. We have used uh, the controller here to try and fly a little, little bit further away. The way that this works best. Yeah, we also tried the gestures. The woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> so that's four ways of controlling the drone. But it is also possible to use the Motion Controller 3 as well as the Goggles 3 to fly this uh, setup. So that's what we're going to try now. If you fly in FPV mode, the transceiver module needs to be attached. In sport mode, where it gets really, really fun, all the, the sensors, they are disabled. So be aware, because it won't stop if you hit something. The flat surface, so we can, can lift off. So this is a sport mode. What? Ah, no obstacle avoidance, just so you know. Man, it's fast. Yeah, I don't know if. This is just the normal mode, where we have the obstacle avoidance. See what... See, it's... Uh, yeah. You can't rip it through there. <laughs> Switch it into spawn mode. See. But then it will also... it will. Then if I fly into something, it will destroy it. So... But I can do a separate video about this. <laughs> the goggles, N3 and uh, the motion controller 3, that's, uh, that's a fun combination. There's no doubt about that. I really like the strategy that uh, GGI has put forward here, is uh, that uh, you buy a drone that's fairly cheap and then you can build onto the same ecosystem uh, adding stuff to it uh, over time. So that's nice. I think it's a nice product. Let's just see here up here what we else have. We have head tracking, we have the Easy Acro. I think that could be nice to try that because the original one that had a little bit of an issue when it had to do the, the easy acro modes. So it's, it stop, kind of stops when you've got to do this. It still has a problem uh, completing these turns without slowing down. Yeah. So let's do the slider. The 180 degree drift here. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I, uh, let me know if you want to, me to cover this in a separate video around these uh, goggles. Uh, but at least uh, it seems that they are working and it's very, very nice. In case you're wondering, can I fly uh, the new 2 in manual mode uh, with the dedicated controller? I have seen videos out there that show that this might be possible, but this is not something that I use myself, so I can't really confirm it. Maybe you know, write it in the comments below. If you're thinking about picking up one for yourself, then there's of course purchase links in the description below. But I will as always encourage you to go and see some of the other reviews that are put out there before you make your decision. As this product was shipped to me by TGI for my evaluation. But of course I would appreciate that you use one of my links as it helps support the channel and keep me going producing videos like this. While you're down there, then consider joining my Drone Like a Pro Insider list. It's the easiest way to stay up to date about drone releases, flying tips and how to turn your drone into a profitable side business. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.